Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday here at the Connecticut Science Center in our capital city with Nate. Good morning. Good morning, Mark. How are you? Doing well. Um, today we're talking about two-way mirrors. Yeah, yeah. Kind of the science behind how a two-way mirror works. You might have seen it in maybe a movie or a TV show where like detectives are on one side. Of course. And then uh, on the other side, someone's getting an interview and we can see through one way, but they can't see. Back. Right. Yes. Um, and actually, two-way mirrors are actually a pretty simple concept. They, um, it really is, a, they're actually see-through and it's our eyes that are kind of doing a little bit of the magic. Okay. So um, a two-way mirror, um, we can think of it as having a reflective side, but also there are spaces for the light to go through. Okay. Uh, the same way that this right here has a reflective side. It's not a mirror finish. It's white, though, and it bounces back to your eyes. Mm -hmm. um, and our eyes just are going to be able to see the brighter spots more than they're going to be able to see the dimmer spots. Gotcha. So when um, you, if you're watching those movies or TV shows, you'll notice that the detectives who are watching and secretly listening to everything, um, they're actually in a very dim room. Right. Um, and I have a mirror here, right here, and it's pretty bright on this side right now, but I have some friends that are actually hidden on the other side, oh. and we can see them if we illuminate them and make it so that our eyes and the camera here um, notice that it's brighter on the back side. All right, so side. we're on this side of the interrogation room is where our yes. suspects are currently. Sure, yeah, So yeah, the yeah. detectives are on this side. Right. And we're yeah. gonna reveal who those detectives are. Yeah, let's are. see who those detectives are. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, look at that, we've got a, a dino back there. Yeah, we've got yeah. a dinosaur, a tennis ball, and a <laughs> tiger ball, I think. Okay. Um, so this is very similar, actually, to um, your lights, or not your lights, your, your windows at home. You may notice at nighttime, uh, you can't see out them because it's very dark outside. It's the but worst. someone on the other side can see in because it's brighter and your eyes um, are kind of, they're able to see brighter things more easily okay. than dimmer things. Excellent. And your window at nighttime is a little more like a mirror. Okay. So it is just a, a mirror coating that just lets light through. Good stuff. And speaking of like the brightness of light, that's a nice mm -hmm. segue to what's actually happening this weekend, today specifically at the Science Center. Yeah, so we have um, one of our sensory friendly days where we kind of dim the lights down, turn down the sounds a little bit um, so that our friends on the autism spectrum um, can come and enjoy the museum as well if they have any sensory issues. We don't turn everything off, but we do um, kind of like mute it a little bit. And then anything that is making a little more noise or flashing lights, we make sure to warn people with some signage around so that they can uh, make a choice whether or not to go into that exhibit. All right, perfect. So happening again today. Today, yeah. All right, awesome. Yeah, come awesome. on down. Cool. Thank you, Nate. And of course, we uh, will see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.